updated score today on the Martin versus the Phantom Beaver. I'm gonna call it. Beaver won the first two rounds. I'm calling this one a draw. Because I do have all my water backed up for all the wildlife. Beaver still got his dam, although he's on the edge. He was a little higher than I wanted. So when I first got here, I dug out because now we're into plan C on this. And I know a lot of you told me so that Beaver was gonna plug what I did. And what I did is I put drain tubes in here to drain this Beaver dam out, but keep it at a certain level. I found out a name for that. And if I'd done some research on YouTube and I started this, I, I could have cut a few steps out. But in Canada especially, they call what we have here a beaver deceiver. And basically, we block and we hide the inlet out there where he can't see it, so we can't plug it up, and we deceive him in that way. So he keeps building the dam up, but it doesn't stop the water. The problem is, I didn't put any wire, woven wire, around my inlets, and the beaver found them even though they're 10 feet out in the water, and it plugged them up. So today I've come with new supplies. I have some steel fence posts. I have some woven wire fencing to wrap around that in a cage so we can't get at it. I've got more, quite a few lengths of different tubing to put across here. So I think we're gonna put a beaver deceiver in the end of these tubes that I had last week get them draining again and then I'm going to add a second set of drainage over here with this new piping and some more fencing so you know it's really hot out here this is June 9th in northern Illinois we are in the midst of a severe drought we've had one inch of moisture in the last three months the corn as I came over this way it just looks like it's dying so if we hadn't done this, we wouldn't have any water here at all. So that's why I'm calling it between me and the beaver so far. It's a draw. Not what I want perfectly, but I'm satisfied. <laughs> what, what I want to do now, it's so hot out here, I want to get in that water and cool off. Water is cool. Fortunately, it's only about this much mud. I didn't know if I'd be out here up to my knees or what. So now I need to find my inlets. Ah, feel something there. One flowing, not the other one. See what we got. I want to lower this water at least a foot. 
So while I'm working on my foot and wire around the project I did last week, those tubes, I'm gonna use my hoe, I'm gonna get a nice deep channel, let the force of the water clean out my channel for me while I work over there. Then this one will be plenty deep. I'll have my pipe down low enough, it'll drain well. And then the end plan is, when I have the wire out there, I can put the inlet pipes at whatever height I want, and then I can maintain my level, no matter where this pipe is here, as long as it's low enough. Done a lot of prep work here. I'll show you what we have in this modification of a beaver deceiver. I don't know if that's a patented word or not. We're going to use it here because it makes a lot of sense. What I've done is I had those tubes coming out, the beaver have plugged up. I've added some longer extension to it, and then I've wired it into this woven wire cage. That way the beavers can't come in and plug it up. And I'll be able to stick this in a different hole if I decide that I want the water lower or higher. I've got some other metal posts that I'm going to stake those tubes down. They want to float, so I'll stake those down low to the bottom to keep this in place. i got those steel fence posts. Going pretty easy. Don't want to lose these out here. Got some wire left. Let's tie this around here. I'm sure I'll be back. Probably put a top on this. Maybe have to beef it up some more. But... And I'm just finishing up. Now this. Beaver deceiver over here, the wire, the post, everything underwater. I have three of these four inch tubes coming out of there. Now, there's a reason I'm using four inch tubes, because they were free. And just like these quality fence posts, so the cost of this operation, just like Johnny Cash said in his car building song, the cost is negatory. It was all picked up off the people's extras and scrap piles. Thank you. 
Custom made, huh? I know I'll be back, but then again, that's all the fun. Pick another hot day. I think I'm gonna call it a day. A few deer flies flying around here. But again, all this messing around. The whole idea is, is to try to use this beaver and his stubbornness in keeping this dam here. I want to use him to hold back the water, but I want to do it at, at my water level, not his. So we keep it just right. We can still use our road crossings down here. Plenty of water for the wildlife. And not maintenance free. I know I'll be back down. Been having a good time too. I'll let him come back tonight. He'll fill in these minor leaks and give him something to do. Ah! I'd come up here to this slough that doesn't have a, a beaver for me to play with. And the water is really dropped down, the grass is coming in. And another day or two there won't be any water out here at all. And so as I finish this video, I'm just gonna put a little clip on that from down where the beaver does have that water backed up and you just listen to all the wildlife. And We'll let that go for a minute or two at the end. See you in the next one.